Welcome students of class 11 to the first poem for this academic year from your textbook which is titled Le voisin du mirev. Le voisin du mirev is the neighbor of my dreams. Again, it's important that you learn the name of the poet correctly as well as the name of the poet which is given here. The poet is Mitra Burkar. Le voisin is the neighbor. Un rêve is a dream. So the neighbor of my dreams. Très souvent, je rêve d'un voisin toujours prêt à me donner la main. Very often, I dream about a neighbor. Toujours prêt, always ready, ever willing, à me donner la main. Donner la main is an expression, like in English, to lend a hand or to give a hand, which means to help out. Okay, so always ready to help me out. À me donner la main. Sympathique, souriant et amical qui chante d'une voix musicale. Sympathique is all the good qualities encompassed into one adjective which you have kind, gentle, loving, all that. Surion is someone who's smiling all the time. Amical, friendly. Qui chante d'une voix musicale. Who sings. Chante is to sing. Who sings in a musical voice. Une voix musicale. Il ne se plaint jamais ni matin ni soir ou lève un sourire ou aussi un espoir. So he never complains. Ne plus faible plus jamais is never. So se plaint just to complain. So he never complains neither in the morning nor in the evening. This is a way of saying never. Ni matin ni soir. Never will he complain. Ou lève un sourire on his lips. He has a smile. Lève is the lips. Osier an espoir. In his eyes, he has hope. Espoir, hope. Gentil avec ses enfants, compatissant avec sa femme. Dans les moments difficiles, il reste toujours calme. Kind with his children. Compatissant is compassionate or loving towards his wife. Dans les moments difficiles and difficult moments, il reste toujours calme. He always stays Come. Rester is not a rest. Okay, it is to stay. He always stays. Come. Travailler au bureau et aussi à la maison. Il a toujours de quoi faire pour toute saison. Hard working at the office. Travailleur is an adjective for hard working. Laborious, industrious at the office and also at home. Il a toujours de quoi faire. He always has something to do. En toute saison. In all the seasons. This is another way of saying always on tout saison. So what does he do then? Arroser le jardin ou même faire la cuisine ou à un petit au fond chanter une comptine. Arroser is to water so he waters the garden or at the same time he does the cooking, faire la cuisine. Ou un petit au fond to a little child, one of his children, chanter une comptine. He will be singing a lullaby or a nursery rhyme. En sortant de la maison, je le vois, son sourire me rassure et j'y crois. So, while leaving the house, this is your Jérôme Tifia preceded by him. While leaving the house, I see him. Le is the direct object here. I see him. It is the poet who is seeing the neighbor. Je refers to the poet. Le refers to the neighbor. Son sourire me rassure. His smile reassures me. J'y crois. I believe. I have hope. J'ai envie et je veux tant de fois qu'il rêve aussi d'un voisin comme moi. So, j'ai envie is not to have envy or to have uh, jealousy. It is to feel the need for something. Okay, it's not envy. So, I feel the need for or I want and I would like tant de fois, many times, all the time, qu'il rêve aussi. So, I wish that he also dreams of a neighbor like me. Je veux qu'il rêve aussi d'un voisin comme moi. So the poet hopes here that the appreciation that she has for her neighbor is reciprocated by the neighbor's good feelings towards her. It's a very short, simple poem. See if you've understood it. Thank you.